What's up, fellas? So, I'm out here in the garage again, working on the silver car. <clears throat> what I was doing, what started out, um, I took the upper off, wanted to retorque the lower, and I wanted to swap out the stock push rods. I just put, when I put this together, I just used stock push rods in it. And I noticed about 5,500, it would kind of lay over a little bit, which I was sort of expecting because you know, the cam and all that, the heads in, exhaust, blah, blah, blah. It's probably done by 5,500. So, got to thinking and reading some other stuff, and it says stock push rods, especially with these springs that are not, like, super strong. I think they're, like, 380. But at the little higher revs, the stock push rods might be starting to get a little wobbly. I thought, you know what? I got a set of uh, trick flows. They're 6.25 are supposed to be and I thought I'll just stick them in while I got the upper off and because uh what drove this was it still seems like it's got a little vacuum leak and uh, I was trying to tune around it but I was still getting a little surge when on a cold start so uh started tearing it apart and I noticed like all the Alcor bolts were kind of loose which it wasn't leaking all but you know with the PV PCV system the crankcase has got a vacuum in it, so anywhere air can get sucked in, that's not air coming through the mass air meter, so it's going to screw up the computer, especially on these SN cars that are really finicky. So um, I went ahead and continued taking it apart, retorqued the lower. I started putting the other push rods in, and I noticed, like when one of the rockers was on the base circle of the cam, the push rod, I could spin it. And I started putting the new ones in, I was like, they're not, they wouldn't spin no more, and I noticed it did compress the uh, valve spring a touch. So I measured the stock push rods, 6.25, just like they're supposed to be. Well, hopefully I can do this without dropping everything on the ground. And these, I had to stop it there for a second to get this. These are Triclos 6.25. 80 thousandths wall and they are 6.26 I was like well that would explain it I don't have any shims to use so of course we're just gonna put it together and see what happens and uh, I guess I can report the results or put something in the comments when I get it run and I still haven't swapped the transmission out I'm working up to that I'm changing oil on the wife mobile too at the same time I'm doing this um, but we're getting to the uh, transmission part. It's up to the 50s today, so I should be able to get on the ground and get that swapped out. But this is kind of, I don't have any, uh, I don't think I have any comp cams, push rods that can check. All right, so I lied. Dug around some more and I found a comp cam 7621, 6.265. So it's, both of them uh, tick longer than the uh, stockers. So not the desired thing but we'll see what happens uh, I don't know that's gonna have any effect on it but if if it hangs the valves open then that ain't good so we'll try it out ideally this should all be done when you put the engine together but I didn't like I said I didn't uh, figure the stock ones would have an issue but I just wanted to make sure uh, that the, it wasn't the stock ones just uh, not working good so that's a little variable thrown in but we'll put it together and uh, check it out and then we'll finish this up when we get that part done later hi guys it's running i imagine the uh microphone of the phone will pick up all the there's a very little slight noise from the rockers but that's kind of common with them uh, seems to be idling a little bit better i probably have to uh work some more on the tune it's a little bit fast Still got a little mild surge to it, so I probably have to. Uh, so we're sucking air, like from the valve covers or whatever before. It might be a little rich right now. So. Nothing uh, too too bad to mess with, but I think it's working out. I wanna get the transmission swapped and then get it back off the stands and take it for a ride. See how it runs. It was. Uh, when I started it, the last, actually the last week or so, it's been having a squeak out of the belt. I thought one of the 
pulleys had a uh, bearing going out, and I saw something on the interwebs about putting uh, some armpit wax on the back of the belt. They quieted it right down. Pretty neat. All right, that's all, guys. I'm gonna get this wrapped up and posted. I apologize for this. Is, I think three videos in one weekend. I didn't mean to subject you to all that, but had to get it while I could. And I gotta work on this tune tomorrow, obviously. <laughs> all right, later.